What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. That's right. We are back for another presentation, everyone. Woohoo! So, my fellow shareholders of Lost Ark, allow me to present to you the changes needed effective immediately in Lost Ark. This presentation is brought to you by the one and only No Edit Andy. Quick update on our customer retention side. We have increased our following and reached our 10% goal for the quarter. Round of applause, everyone. Woohoo! Yeah! Celebrate good times. Do, 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 do. No copyright. Okay. So, we did reach our target, but we profit-hungry corporations can never be satisfied. So, we are increasing our target to 15% for the next quarter. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to be included in the end-of-year profit-sharing bonus. Okay, let's actually get on with the video. So... As, as I said before, this is going to be a video about changes that I think need to be done as soon as possible. So let's get started with number one. Bring back Rapport Gold and Masterpiece Gold. Remember, when you could actually earn a decent chunk of gold from maxing out Rapport with certain NPCs or collecting those masterpieces. Yeah, me too. The good old days. But for some reason, <coughs> bots, <coughs> we now only get silver for our troubles. Oh, the wonderful beginning to how bots ruin this game. We just can't have nice things anymore because of them. Even to this day, we are still dealing with consequences for bots. Inflated gold to their detection system, false banning new players, and restricting trusted status. What are these analysts doing at AGS? Look, AGS, and also Smilegate, you've already implemented bound gold. So, you know, I'm seeing people bragging on Reddit about abusing new players in Ch Challenge Abyssal Dungeons, just bidding enough to exceed a new player's bound gold. First of all, to that post, you're an a-hole, and you are exactly what is the problem with this game. Yes, I'm calling you out. But anyways, the point of this whole slide is to say that there are clearly problems arising with bound gold. So what's the harm in bringing back a little extra from rapport and masterpieces and just setting it as bound gold? It's not like these new and returning players are swimming in gold here. <clears throat> Raid nerfs. <clears throat> Spoiler for the next slide. Let's revert the silver back to bound gold. Yes? I expect it in the next update, AGS. So, number two. You got the spoiler, but increase raid gold for lower level raids. Why was there even a nerf in the first place? Is it because people were abusing it by not doing the newer and harder content? and sticking with the easier ones? You do realize there's an easy fix to this, right? Still don't know? Okay, let me tell you. Increase the gold rewards back for lower level rates. Let's start with that, that's number one. And then, only start reducing the gold when you hit a certain item level cutoff. This way, new players and alts can actually earn some meaningful gold while keeping away the juiced up characters that can clear the raid in two minutes. Was that so hard? Let's do better for the new and returning players, please. Moving on to number three. More avenues for basic Oreja fusion and below. These things are way too scarce for new and returning players. Admittedly, I had no idea this was a problem, since I didn't have any characters that used these anymore. But when I realized that the current events 
don't even offer this lower tier material anymore. And I actually had someone beg me for gold the other day to buy these. I knew this was a problem. And no, I didn't give them the gold. So for anyone thinking of finding me in game, hey, I'll say hi, but I am not a charity case. Sorry. I'm more of an advice charity guy rather than a gold charity guy. This game is grindy and casino-y enough. Let's stop making things so difficult for new and returning players, AGS. Add the basic Oreha Fusion materials back into the event shop, please. All right, number four. Silver exchange from events. Speaking of another thing that AGS needs to wake up on is silver. So I'm pretty sure most of us are scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to silver with how expensive the costs are to hone and advanced hone. People forget that yes, you need silver to even unlock your gear for honing. How ridiculous is that? With all the crazy stuff we have to do in tier four like honing, gear swapping, gems, and other random nonsense, why not add a silver exchange to events so we can prepare ourselves? We're already grinding these events like crazy, and people with six characters should have maxed out the shop by now. We are sitting on so many unused event materials that could easily be cons converted to silver. It's a simple change that would make life a lot easier for everyone. Plus, it's been given before, so I don't even know why we constantly get gatekept from this service every event. Are they being intentionally evil, or did they simply forget to put it in every time? Please give us the silver conversion. Number five, and this is the last one. It is time to bump the no gold hone item level cutoff. So right now, the cutoff is at 1540. So I already mentioned the numerous problems that new and returning players have in terms of lack of gold. Nerfing the raid gold and also removing gold sources wasn't good enough for you, huh? They also had to hit 1540, which is not even a decent item level. Because get this. They can't even do Brailgate 4 with its nerfed gold. So now they have to push to 1560 to do the raid and it's nerfed. How silly is this? If you were going to nerf Brel in its entirety, you should have made the item level cutoff for the free gold hone up to 1560. Now that's a little late. So now I propose an increase to 1580. So people can reach there comfortably and they can do a con where it isn't nerfed. That way it makes so much sense to have nerfed honing and then now they can properly farm raids and increase their income. I mean, I'm not for nerfed raids in general, but their logic doesn't make sense for anything. It's the worst case scenario for the new and returning players. So let's fix this. Anyway, short and sweet, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please do click on that subscribe button. It'll mean a lot. And now to my pineapple gang. If you watched last video, you should know that I am switching it up and changing the word every video. So for today's video, sneak in the word beautiful because all of you are so beautiful. That's it for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.